Oh, look at this. This happens a lot here in South Florida. Bright sunshine and rain. Hey everybody, it's Mike Chen. Hopefully you are doing well out there. Like I said, I am here in South Florida, Miami to be exact. About to head off to an exquisite buffet. I didn't know this. There's so many brunch buffets right here in Miami. Only problem is most of them only have it on Saturdays and Sundays. So these two days, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Anyway, the video you're about to see was filmed about a month ago in Puerto Rico. I wanted to go there ever since I heard about the pork highway. When I saw an episode of Bizarre Foods with Andrew Zimmer, where he said that was the best roast pig he's ever had in his life. So ever since, been wanting to go and just a big check off the food bucket list. But before we get to that, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. So I've been using this for several months now. My morning routine is wake up, drink it on empty stomach, hit to the gym, and then hit to typically a buffet or something. Again, like I tell you guys, every sponsor I have, I try them out extensively make sure I like it I love this in every box you get a pack that you can put into a tin can you also get travel packs you also get a bottle of this liquid vitamin D supplement which I take every single day especially I know a lot of my friends and family hate the Sun take some vitamin D so the process is really simple you take one scoop or in my case I'm traveling I take one pack they give you a travel bottle put it inside 8 to 12 ounces of water shake it up and drink it Second one today. And you might be thinking like, oh, it's some sort of green liquid. It must not taste good. Actually, it actually tastes pretty good. And I've been looking for something like this. I haven't been really good about taking vitamins. I'm getting older. Health, of course, is such a huge topic in these past couple of years. So every time I travel, I have bottles of vitamins. You know, it's such a hassle traveling around trying to take all of them. But with one scoop of AG1, you get 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, whole food sourced superfoods. For me, just a super convenient way to try to stay healthy. So AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. So if you want to get this a try, go to my link down below. You'll get a year supply of vitamin D, K3, 2, and five free travel packs with your water. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system because AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, buffet time for me and uh, enjoy the video. Hi, hope everyone's doing well wherever you are. It's Mike Chen here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Today is the day. This is the number one food reason why I am in Puerto Rico. I watched an episode, I think of Bizarre Foods, many, many, many years ago, where Andrew Zimmer went on the stretch up highway called Pork Highway, where everybody sold whole entire roast pigs, lechons. Ever since I saw him take that first bite, couldn't get it out of my mind. Finally, today, La Ruta del Lechon, here I come. My first stop, La Chanera Las Pinos. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. They say they open at eight. Uh, let's see if there's a pig ready. All right, so they have way more stuff than just lechon. Grabbed a tray full of food. And before I dig in, my lechon journey in Puerto Rico, I actually started before this. When I was on the island of Vieques, just driving by on my scooter, all of a sudden, smell something in the air. 
saw some smoke on the side of the road, and this is what I ran into. Morning, uh, last full day here on this island. Just been driving around looking for food. Drove by this place on the side of the road. Check it out, check it out. Giant lechon, fresh out of the cooker. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. You just give me a piece with skin and fat. Oh my God. Oh, this is burning hot right now. Fresh out of the oven. Look at this sizzling crispy skin right here. Obligatory pig hair on there as well. Look at this. All juice. Look how beautiful this is. I bet you, listen to this. When I go back to um, San Juan, I want to go to Pork Highway, a highway where they just cook lechon. But this is such a beautiful preview. I'm putting everything up right now. Let's go take a look. So I uh, waited here for about an hour. They're sold out. Uh, people were waiting for a long, long time before I got here. Uh, so yeah, it's sold out. There's nothing left. At least I got a taste of peace. Now I'm just looking forward to the Chan Highway in San Juan, but that was a good pig. Oh well, next time. Actually, they just came over and gave us little pieces that were left um, from where they were keeping their pig. Still a lot of good pieces of meat here. These guys are so nice, so nice. Oh. That is how this world. Such a beautiful piece of chicharron with fat. Oh, crispy, melting your mouth. One crunch, all that great juice on the pigs just flows everywhere. Let me, let me show you guys what I got. Look at this. Tray of food. This is the pork rib. Oh, look how succulent that is. What? Plastic fork just break. Oh my goodness, this looks so tender and juicy. Wow. Tamale with shredded pork inside. I got some pieces of roast chicken. Oh, wow. I'm not usually into chicken, but look at the crispy skin on this thing. That is so pretty. Blood sausage, of course. You're not gonna go to a Lachon place and not get blood sausage. Some liver with olives. This is the stomach, the tripe. And here it is, the Lachon, fresh out of the oven. They roast this for six hours. I mean, just look at it glisten. All that nice fat covering the meat and all this juice. You can see it oozing out when I lightly press it with my fork. Of course, this is the highlight. The thin, bubbly, crispy skin. Toasted to a golden, almost translucent colors, bubble inside the skin will tell you that this thing will just crunch and melt in your mouth. A layer of fat that you know is just gonna flood your taste buds. And you know this thing is gonna be crunchy. Look at that. This one comes with some nice meat underneath the skin to give you some different texture, a little bit of chew. This is a food dream come true. I still remember in my head the scene where Andrew Zimmerman crunched down the skin. He said this is the best pork he's ever had. Ever since that moment, I've been dreaming about my moment here with this. I think I gotta start slow. Right, I'm gonna start with some, some liver. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This itself is already so good. Mm. I love liver. I love the organic flavor. This thing, nothing gamey about it. Just delicious organic meat. Mmm. With potatoes cooked in as well. Oh, that flavor steep into that potato nicely. The broth's a little spicy. Let me take a sip of this. Oh, yeah. I haven't got to the lechon yet. Already so good. Something I never pass up on. And hopefully, unlike the 70s, it doesn't have too much funk. Oh, that is clean. Mmm. Oh, this thing is not funky at all. I love a little tripe for that nice chewy texture. Dip it in some hot sauce. Mmm. If you like tripe, 
I highly recommend this. Bite on a drumstick. Chicken flavor is good. A little drier than I thought, especially because I got a thigh piece. I thought it'd be a little juicier, but you're able to taste that nice smoke. The flavor is fantastic. Oh, the less sausage is one of my favorite things. Get yourself some blood sausages. I think it has such an amazing earthy flavor. Plus they put a little spice in here as well. The casing is nice and snappy. Oh, that's God. Do not come here without getting some of these. I feel like I'm gonna try to rush everything because I just cannot wait to put the lechon in my mouth. I still got some barbecue ribs to try it. All right, barbecue rib was good. Some piece a little dry. Let's just get to the star attraction. What I like to do, uh, just start with the best part right here. Usually I like to save the best for last, but this thing's just been sitting there shimmering at me like a glowing sunset. <sighs> that was a bite about, maybe about 10, 12 years in the making, but it did not disappoint. I mean, you heard that crunch, right? That was loud enough to activate an avalanche and chased it with some juicy, tender meat. If you ever make it out to Puerto Rico, please come here and do what I just did. That piece of skin, once you crunch down, it just dissolves into this yummy, porky liquid that completely coats your tongue and your taste buds. And all you wanna do is just shove another piece of that in your mouth. And the meat, how juicy is this? Mmm. It tastes so clean and tender. I almost like that as much as the skin. Best thing to get here, 100% of the charm. Get the blood sausage. If you like organs, get the liver. And if you like tripe, I 100% recommend this. All right, I'm gonna savor this meal and then I'm gonna hit up a couple more places. This pork highway trip's not over. Oh, thank you. Hey, what's your name? Tomas. Ricardo. Tomas and Ricky. Yes, sir. This is your dad. You guys own this place. How long you guys been doing this? 28. 28 years. Yes, sir. And this is your special hot sauce. Yeah, this <laughs> I love you, I love you. Oh, hey, I'm gonna try this out. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, they just gave me a bottle. Look at this hot sauce. Woo! Family recipe, cannot wait to put this on the pig. Drizzle that on the lechon. Oh my God. Can I just drink this straight from the bottle? Huh? Right. Mmm. Vinegary and spicy. Oh! Oh, that spice is burning me just now. Wow, my throat is on fire. Tomas, you are not joking with this hot sauce. I love it. Perfect balance with the fattiness of the pork. Mmm. This will help you eat more. I'm gonna put this in my tripe. I wish I saved some of my blood sausages to dip it in this. Mmm. Also, they're gonna show me where they roast the pigs. Wow, here we go. Oh, that is beautiful. How many you guys cook a day? Uh, around 12. 12, 12 a day in all these ovens? Yes, sir. This is uh, this one we do in the charcoal. We do it on uh, gas, you know, so, so we can keep up. So we can keep up with the demand. Woo, that is beautiful. So you guys have been doing this 28 years. You see the giant size of the pigs that are cooking in those ovens. What I love most about it, family run. They're all passionate about what they do. Also, Anthony Bourdain came here. Love eating the footsteps of my food heroes. Ricky, so kind. Send over a pina colada. Thanks so much, man. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Your family runs an amazing business. And I'm glad I'm finally able to taste it. Lechon number two. This is fun, just going up and down this highway, tasting different lechon. This is from El Rancho Original. Oh, this looks good. This skin doesn't really have much fat on the other side. More of a thinner porky chip. Oh, there we go. There's a piece of fat on the back. I never get sick going to all these lechon restaurants, watching them chop the pig, hearing the thump of that machete. It just gets my heart pounding. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, just listen to that.
That is so incredibly light. I like the piece with the fat on there more. More flavor, more juice when you crunch down it. If you like pork rinds, find yourself a good Lachan restaurant and just crunch down on some of this stuff. Or it's just some like salsa to kind of just dip this in. Mm. The meat is so juicy as well. Also, this whole area is so cool. When you're driving along this road, of course, you smell the Lachan. You see all these great Lachan restaurants. There are places where you can buy souvenirs, you can buy drinks. I have never had more pina coladas until I came to this island. I think this is just such a fun way to spend half a day. Just driving around, stopping at random Lachan restaurants, eating, hanging out with the locals, listening to some music. I always imagine what my experience would be like once I make it over here. Reality definitely exceeded expectation. Back in the city now, that was quite a day. Ate at the two Lachon places that Anthony Bourdain went to and Andrew Zimmerman went to. Yeah, another huge item checked off the food bucket list. Now, again, back in the city at this restaurant called La Cueva del Mar. Heard great things about this place. Oh, they just brought over the fresh red snapper. These are what well, you guys just got them from the market today? No, actually from the ocean. From the ocean today, it just, just came out. It's actually from the ocean. Wow. Morning, so. Looks great. Can we get that one? Yeah? Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much. I like that. They show you the fresh fish before it's cooked. So, this is the fish stew. They recommend adding some lime and some spicy avocado sauce. Um, also, got the uh, empanada. Look at this. Just cutting this open. Guys are erupted from this little thing. Look how juicy this is. This is the steak empanada. Woo! Oh. oh, this is tremendous. Wow. And that's some of the spicy avocado sauce on this thing, too. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that spicy avocado sauce is the best thing ever. Oh, remember, get this when you come here. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. I'm not as soft and flaky. The meat, again, it's just the juiciest, tenderest thing stuffed in there. Try this fish stew here. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. Definitely needs some citrus. Really clean fish flavor. Very light and comfortable in the stomach. You add the lime for some citrus, add the avocado sauce for a little heat. This is a delicious starter. It doesn't fill you up, but it satisfies you, you know? Oh, it's so nice here. Brought a little conch for me to taste. Oh, oh just good. Oh, yeah. Every bite, loving it so far. And the main dish is having not arrived yet. Come on, it's worth the wait. My Thank God, you, that's wow. That's awesome. Oh, oh wow. wow. Thank you, Hector. Thank you so much. Food is here and it is glorious. Ooh, fresh red snapper. This is their version of fried rice. Also, a fungal with chicken and skirt steak. So, sauce. Goes onto the red snapper. Oh, if you're in San Juan, come here and get that. Oh, snapper itself, so tender and juicy. Meat is absolutely perfect. This chili, this red sauce, base of tomato, some onions, provides a little sweetness, a little acidity. The outside's a little crispy. Inside, it's just pure tenderness. Mm. Oh, that is good too. Creamy beans inside the rice, nice and toasty on top. Mm. Bring on the spicy avocado sauce. I think this is ketchup mayo. What I really like though, oh, this avocado sauce. Dump that dump that fish in there. Mm. Oh, wow. This might be one of my favorite sauces I found this island. Not everything's so good. Yes. Then the mofungo with cheese sauce on top, skirt steak and chicken. Oh, there's a lot of sauce. Mm. I think this is the best mofungo I had on this island so far. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is delicious. Fried on the outside, creamy on the inside. 
State is so tender too. Mm. The chicken is delicious. Oh, that cheese sauce just ties everything together. So, so happy with this, of course. A little avocado, spicy avocado for good measure. Mm. Oh, that's too good. 100% the most flavorful mofongo I had on this island. Of course, eating fish the Chinese way, you cannot flip it over. Um, and this is something good to know for New Year's, especially during the New Year's, you cannot flip a fish over. The character for fish in Chinese is yu, which means plentiful. So Chinese people believe if you flip it over, you're gonna be flipping over your fortune. So don't be flipping over your fortune. Just take the bone out and eat like that. Also, what I love about this mofongo, I think a little bits of pork rinds in here. Mm. Do not let this cheese sauce go to waste. This is a perfect combination. A little seafood, relatively light, and then some of fungal to satisfy whatever food craving you're having. Awesome food day today. One more stop. That's right, Krispy Kreme donuts. Because there's some flavors they only have here in Puerto Rico. You think after a day of eating, you'd be full, but still hungry. Uh, I tried to go to a local pizza place, packed full of people. The wait was like an hour. So, oh, oh no. Thin crust Domino's with pepperoni, my favorite Domino's pizza. But is it me or I feel like the thin crust is ruined if you don't cut it into squares or rectangles? Like, like slices, it's just not. Oh, I feel like Domino's thin crust, you can't cut it like this. Am I the only one that feels this way? So good, it's just the wrong shape. Krispy Kreme, Puerto Rican only flavors. Tres leche, cheese and guava, Nutella. Uh, usually, I'm not a big donut guy. I love Krispy Kreme though, I love it. Especially flavors you can't find in other places. Oh, this looks good. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. This is one of the best Krispy Kreme I've ever had. So milky and creamy. And the guava and cheese. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. This thing is fruity and cheesy. I think the flavor most resembling a tropical island this is it. Also, this island is so cool. Everywhere you go, people are so friendly, so talkative, so eager to help because I don't know any Spanish. Big shout out to Hector at the restaurant today, helping me out with the food orders. Tomorrow, my final full day here. Gotta tell you, I'm a little sad to be leaving, but almost New Year's. Gotta head back to New York, see the family, spend a few days doing absolutely nothing, which is my favorite thing to do. This video will probably publish after New Year's, so hopefully everybody had a good one. And hopefully 2022, much, much better than the last two years. It's always all the place I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Tell we eat again. I'll see you later.